Hello again. It's uh, 10 to 9. If you've just joined us, a very good morning to you. Now, during the long, cold winter months, most of us are counting the days to spring and summer and the sun and the flowers. But for many people, the thought of long summer days is, in fact, a nightmare. They're the unfortunate one in ten of the population who suffer from hay fever. Now, hay fever is caused by grass pollen and results in uh, runny eyes, a runny nose, and sneezing. In fact, life in the summer months can be quite miserable. Well, you may think that January is a strange month to be thinking about hay fever, but in fact it's exactly when we should be thinking about it. A ten-week course of injection started now will protect hay fever sufferers throughout the spring and summer. A new pamphlet out today recommends this form of treatment. It was written by our guest, Dr Robert Davis, who's a chess consultant who specialises in allergies. And we're also joined by Sharon Sullivan, who suffers from hay fever. Good morning to you both. Good morning. What, what exactly do these uh, injections do then, Dr Davis? Well, I think simply the best way to think of them is that they probably immunise you against the pollen itself. Mm -hmm. And so you've really got to do it before the season starts. It seems a long time in advance, though, doesn't it? Why well, it does, but you see, the pollen season starts really in the end of May, beginning of June, hmm. and if you're going to have 10 weekly injections, then you've really got to start now. Yes. Why haven't we sort of uh, heard more about this before? Why hasn't it been happening well, for years? Well, well, it has been really. In fact, the whole treatment started here at the turn of this century, but hmm. I think the interesting fact now is that we're beginning to understand so much more about it and the preparations that we can use are really getting a lot better. Mm. Now is this a cure or is it just a treatment? Well it's the only form of the many treatments you can have for hay fever which possibly does offer the chance for a real cure. Mm -hmm. All the others simply suppress the symptoms. Mm -hmm. This does give the opportunity in some individuals to really uh, cure the disease. Sharon, what, what have you used in the past to try and help you combat hay fever? Mainly antihistamine, the, the sort of tablets that most people associate with sleepiness. Uh, you take one and it stops the hay fever to a certain extent, but, oh, God, you feel tired. Yes. Really sleepy. Mm -hmm. So what, what are your thoughts about the course of injections? Well, I'm hopeful. I'll give it a try. Mm -hmm. I, I have had them in the past. It helped to a certain extent. I'd like to try again. Yeah. Just tell us how miserable life becomes for you, then, with hay fever. It's pretty dreadful. About the end of May, beginning of June, you start to be troubled by itchy eyes, sneezing. If you go out, it gets much worse when you're outside. Mm -hmm. um, very sore throat. Uh, mainly the, the, the thing I find the most upsetting is the very sore eyes and, and the sneezing. Yeah. And I mean, the pollen count day by day really means yes. a lot to you. You take yes, a great, I do. I take, great note I read the papers and mm. listen, listen to the television and radio. Yeah, so can we reiterate, Dr Davis, exactly yes. what people should be doing then? Now? Well, if they want this form of treatment, they should certainly go and see their own general practitioners and start it really in the next few weeks. Yes. Go and see the GPs. I'm sorry, but Roy Detrice. Is for, I mean, for life or is it just for the season? I mean, if you... If yeah. Well, it's really a course season, for this particular season, but I think the difference of this type of treatment amongst all the others is that it may really offer a cure, if given, certainly for one, two or three years. But at the moment you're not immunised for life. Just for that Just season. for the season, oh, I think. Basically. Yeah. May I just say that Roy Detrice is, uh, has mm -hmm. Brenda Vaccara and his daughter Michelle with him, and they're relaxing, aren't you? <laughs> they haven't got hay fever. <laughs> Sharon, may I wish you a trouble-free summer, Thanks. and thank you, Dr Davis, you. Uh, for coming to tell us about That's the treatment. Okay. Thanks yes. a lot. Annie.